Aquarius welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you this is a general love read if it resonates feel free to show some love towards the channel remember roles can be reversed in today's video and if you feel that your message is not here please check out your other placements or alternatively you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. Thank you for your patience Aquarius. As you can tell I am shooting from a different location. Just currently making the most of my current environment and surroundings. I am currently on holiday with my family which has resulted in the delay of getting your reading out and I do apologize but I do thank you for your patience. So here we go. Spirit Angels and Guides please show us the feelings of the person that Aquarius is connecting to how does this person currently feel towards a sign of Aquarius the mother of Pentacles. this is earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay okay this person's feelings for Aquarius hmm Okay, there's something about um, this person feeling like they want to, they want to nurture, they want to nurture the connection. Okay, they want to nurture the connection and they want to do this by... exercising patience okay let's clarify two of swords okay three of swords and the six of wands so what this person is telling me here is that right now you have this person either physically or emotionally blocked or even energetically blocked it does upset this person they are upset by it they are hurt by it but they're kind of saying here if I just exercise patience and use discernment um, I feel like I will you know succeed in I will succeed in Um, attracting my Aquarius again yeah because with the six of wands this person is determined to you know impress you in some way hmm this person is determined to have some kind of a breakthrough. And they know that the only way through this situation is to just exercise patience. Like patience is a true virtue here for this person right now. All right. Um... How does Aquarius feel towards this person? How does Aquarius feel towards this person? The Fool. So you feel that this person with the Fool um, is immature or you may feel with the fool that this person just isn't worth taking any chances on or isn't worth the risk of I don't know opening your heart up to talking to yeah you may feel with the fool that this person is a player let's just clarify spirit angels and guides 
You may feel with the fool that you no longer care about this person. Let's clarify. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords. That's interesting. The Four of Swords. Oh. So the Four of Swords definitely shows me here that you are not talking to this person. Hmm. So you feel like this person is immature or is a player okay with the seven of swords you're showing me here that you don't really trust this person you feel like this person doesn't have good intentions but the thing is The thing is, Aquarius, you're kind of showing me here with the Four of Swords that you're not talking to this person right now, um, but I feel like you're doing it to see what this person does. Because with the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords, it's kind of like an act. It's like you're saying, I have withdrawn my energy from this person to see what they do. Mm. cuz it's kind of like you're looking you're looking back to see if this person sort of like chases you or comes after you Hmm. Yeah, some of you just flat out don't trust this person. You may feel um, that this person did something to betray you or backstab you with the Ten of Swords. With the Ten of Swords, you may feel like this person did something for you that was like a deal breaker. I mean, they do have the Six of Wands and the Three of Swords here. So, I mean, the Six of Wands is an energy of someone who typically attracts the attention of many different people. But this person isn't interested in the eyes of other people this person is interested in you and it's because with the full energy you're not giving them what they want you're not giving them the attention that they want You know, whilst other people might be tripping over themselves for this person and falling head over heels for this person, but you're not. You're not doing that. You might be giving this person the silent treatment here with the Four of Swords. Okay. Right. What does this person want with Aquarius? What does this person want with Aquarius? The world. Hmm. Okay, so honestly with the world, this person wants a new beginning. The world makes me feel like this person feels like there's unfinished business between the both of you. So this person wants like to experience like a, a new beginning or they want to experience another cycle here with you. Can we clarify the world? 
The world is also distance. So in this position, this person wants to close the gap. Okay, they don't want the distance. They don't want the physical distance. They don't want the emotional distance. They want to get close to you. See, the fool is here and you've got the fool. The king of wands. The eight of pentacles. Could be connecting to an Aries or a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. Okay. Look, this person is determined. To me, it makes me feel like with the King of Wands, um, that this person is very much determined to re-attract you or gain your interest or gain your attention. Because right now, this King of Wands is kind of looking at you as if you don't really care about them um, or you don't give a damn about them. But with the Eight of Pentacles here, it makes me feel like they are, yeah, determined and willing to work hard. Um, Yeah, willing to work hard to regain your interest. And with the King of Wands, what the King of Wands wants typically gets. The King of Wands is very opportunistic, is very ambitious. And with the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who is willing to work over time to get what they want. This is someone who is willing to be very consistent with the way they present themselves um, and the way they interact with you. Um, to get what they want. This is someone who is very, very determined and focused. This is someone who has a vision and they are not letting anyone get in the way of this vision that they have. This person has their sights set on you. Make no mistake, Aquarius. This is someone with a strong vision. Strong vision. Okay, this is determination, motivation, focus. This is someone who is hell bent on getting you. All right, what do you want? Let's take a look at that. What does Aquarius want from this situation? Three shuffles, last one. The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. It's very interesting. The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm just going to clarify this before I speak on it. Can we please clarify the Eight of Pentacles with what Aquarius wants? The Hanged Man. The Death. The Three of Cups. I don't feel like you're going to make any moves 
okay with the hanged man this is you saying rosa i'm not willing to make any moves okay this is you not taking any risks or any chances with this individual the eight of pentacles is you being very focused on focused on being productive and being very practical right now and I don't feel like you are going to sacrifice yourself for this person in any way Mm. yeah um with the death card and the three of pentacles it's almost like you want this person to feel like you've moved on or you want this person to see that you have moved on with your life. You want them to see, you want them to feel like you've moved on with your life. Yeah. That's what it makes me feel. Yeah, but as far as um, anything to do with this individual, you're not, you're not um, sacrificing any part of yourself for. Okay, well, what's coming towards you in love? What's coming towards Aquarius in love this week? The six of wands look at that yep um well it looks like this person is the one who is going to be coming towards you with the six of wands it would indicate that there is someone here that is going to be pursuing you yeah it seems like with the butterfly they're changing their tune or they're changing their stance and it looks like they are going to chase you or pursue you because see with the death card and the three of cups you're you're making this person see or believe that you're moving on without them and the three of cups it's it's almost like you're showing this person that you have other options now so you could be kind of like triggering jealousy within this person and that's why they're changing with the butterfly their stance on on this because remember they are opening up with the queen of pentacles this is someone who is being very aloof with you kind of just being very w patient uh, willing to be patient and kind of just lean back but now it's kind of like oh hang on a second um now they're kind of seeing you with somebody else or possibly seeing uh, other options around you and it's kind of triggering this person to, you know, pursue you. Yep, look at this. The Hermit, the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So you could be connecting to a Virgo or an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So... The hermit would indicate someone breaking the silence. Yeah. So there is someone here who is going to break the silence that currently exists between the both of you. Mm -hmm. Because this person can't help themselves, okay? 
this is someone who feels like they need to connect with you again they need to talk to you again they need to meet face to face with you again and have maybe some kind of discussion with you and with the king of pentacles it's kind of like well you know aquarius we we need to like have a serious talk we need to have a serious conversation or a serious discussion about matters yeah so all of a sudden it's like i i need to talk with you and it's serious aquarius <laughs> okay um now it could be with the king of pentacles two of cups about your relationship and it could be about something getting serious about it could be about becoming exclusive it could be about having a relationship with you or becoming an item with you something along those lines it's like all of a sudden they they want to have a serious talk to you mm. Okay, let's have a look at the bottom of the deck for last parting messages and or advice. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands. This is, I need to talk to you about something. So I feel like the Eight of Wands is, this is a conversation. There is a conversation that is going to occur between you and this person. And I feel like it's going to be about something specific. This lightning bolt always makes me feel like there is something, this lightning bolt is striking one of these wands. So, so there is definitely a conversation that is headed in your direction, but there is something that this person specifically wants to talk to you about. And I definitely feel with the Two of Cups, it's, it's specifically about, you know, your relationship, your connection, maybe how this person feels about you or maybe they're coming in to ask you how you feel about them or are you serious about this other person or other people it could go off in many different directions okay but that's the last parting message I feel like also too with the Eight of Wands that a, conversa a conversation needs to take place here in order to clear the air between the both of you also, okay? Because it's going to give you clarity. Maybe it's going to give you both clarity. So there we have it, guys. That's your reading. Let me know your thoughts on this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.